Oh no, not that one. Wrong one. What's going on here? Why is that on that page? This is not the page I want. There we go. Why did it do that? I hit the right button. Hi. Howdy, 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 howdy. Um, all right, another Monday, another uh, day of waiting on the trucks, but uh, right now I'm in, a, in between. One truck won't show up for a few hours. The other truck's already gone, so I'm coming over here. So uh, I'm not going to work on a pinball today. It's like as if maybe arcade games. We have arcade games that we have to work on. Uh, we are still working on Haunted House. Uh, we got the bottom play field is done and cleaned. Um, and put back together. Um, top play field is done. I think he still has to paint some stuff. Yeah, I'm done with it. And I'm still working on the middle play field of Haunted House. To get all my stuff cleaned. Brent's still working on painting and his lighting that he's doing. But it's getting there. It's getting really close. Uh, I already worked on a couple games this morning. Really quick stuff. Devil's Dare had some bulbs that were out and I had some wonky sockets. Just basically had to make sure that they were cleaned out and making continuity checks and got them working. Black Pyramid in there. Uh, cause players were saying that uh, the flipper was sticking on the left side and the, uh, the five times drop target wasn't going down. So again, I'm thankful. I, that's what we want from our players to tell us when something's not working. So I checked out and all that and uh, readjusted the flipper. Seems okay. Drop target seems to be moving okay. So some of that may have just been the way the game plays, quirks or whatever. Some of it may, could have been an issue, but it's good to check. And that's what I did. I checked. Uh, so today, though, we're going to be working on a video game, an actual arcade game that I just picked up yesterday. It is this guy right here. Oh. Ta -da. It is a 1981 Williams Defender cocktail. We have a regular Defender, but we didn't. We never had a cocktail. Uh, this was a Facebook ad that I answered. Um, so the guy locally, uh, roughly locally, the Air Force Base that's nearby, he picked this up a couple, just a few weeks ago, and I guess it was an auction or something uh, about 100 miles away from here. And the guy who sold it to him said that he thought that the power cord was messed up, that there's something wrong with the power cord, and that's why it doesn't work, which that's power cord is a power cord. If it was just the cord, that's an easy thing to do, but I doubt it's just that. Um, but he didn't have a chance to even look at it or even try it. He didn't even know anything about video games on how to repair them or anything. And since he's in the Air Force and he got, I don't know, he got to... Uh, some sort of assignment or something that he has to leave. So he quickly wanted to sell this. Um, and I saw it on eBay, not on eBay. I saw it on Facebook yesterday morning and I was surprised to see an arcade game locally. Price wasn't too bad. Um, looks like it'd be in, it's in fairly decent condition. Not the worst uh, cocktail that we've seen. It's actually really kind of nice looking. There's a lot of scratches on top. Um, but I have not done anything to this. I have not. I just rolled it in here yesterday, and this is where it's set. I haven't looked at it. I haven't opened it. I haven't done anything. But that's kind of what I want to do today. 
is get into this and see what's savable, what's not, what's going to work, what's, you know, try to figure out where we are with it. I have never seen, I've never seen a cocktail version of Defender, but we got one now. So join me, will you, while I just tear into this thing and see what we can get. Maybe we can get it working today, maybe not. Of course, we want to do, we want to do it a safe way. Um, so yeah, so, all right, so basically, I got my little thing off of here. This is how it came. Luckily, coin door was opened up. So I don't have to break in there. There's no keys, obviously, so we don't have to break in that part. But I do need to break in up here to be able to get the top to flip up. So this is going to be a, a fun little venture to see if I can get the top up without damaging anything through that coin door area, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, it's got a nice little, tiny little monitor, a little 13-inch monitor. A lot of the cocktails had 19-inch monitors, but... This one's got a little baby in it. It's a baby monitor. Haha, <laughs> baby monitor. All this stuff, we'll clean it up as best we can. We'll just see. This obviously, this won't go in the arcade. This is just for our collection because we don't have room for cocktails in our arcade. But let's just see if I can break into this thing and see what's going on. So feel free to chat. Talk with me. Keep me company. I'm just going to be here. Tell me all your uh, experiences with the Defender. See if you've ever played Defender. Do you like Defender? Is it a pain in the butt? I know it's a pain in the butt. That's why I've heard so much. It's pain in the butt stuff. All right. That's pretty scratched up, but that's just glass. Let me see if there's any simple way to get in here. That's the hinge. All right, so that's going to be attached inside. Yeah, uh, forgive me as I've never done, I've never taken apart a Williams one, but I'm already seeing some uh, stuff in there. Hey, what's going on? Uh, rolling a pin lock. Uh, probably, I'm just trying to see if I can get to the lock from over here. Oh wait, there's a door on this side. This side opens up. Hold on, maybe I can break in from the, okay, hold on. Hold on. What's going on here? With the board, the board side opens up. All right, let me see. Let me see if I can get in here. Ah, what is that? That looks like a lock to me. Aha! There you go, just get it with your fingers. Let's open that up for a second. Let's see where we're at. That's pretty good. At least I didn't have to damage anything to do this. Doo -doo -doo. All right, so we got our monitor right here. Um, Let's see, you pull these pins out and I think I can get the side out. There's a volume control. All right, let's swing it around if I can. If I can. To get to the board side. But I am seeing evidence of critters in here, so obviously I don't want to just turn stuff on. We're going to clean things out. That. That side. All right. Let's pull that up. Pull that up. And that swings down. Yep, it's on a hinge. Woo! Whoa, Nelly. Okay, well, that's not good. That's the uh, dreaded battery acid down here. I'm going to kind of look at the board here and see if I don't I don't know if it's dripped on anything yet. I don't see any corrosion up in here, so that's good, but get these stupid batteries out. For one, we don't need no god awful batteries. What's the problem? 
problem. We can put batteries on top of the board. That's okay. What's the, what's the battery going to do? Explode and leak everywhere? Come on, that's never happened. Kodak Supreme Life. Alkaline battery. Does it have a date? Nope. Radio Shack. Alkaline battery. And give me a third brand. Rayovac. Nice. Three different batteries. Nice. Garbage can. Let's see here. We'll get rid of this battery pack. Whew. I can neutralize it though. I've got some uh, vinegar, baking soda and vinegar. Hold on. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna neutralize it real quick. It's not like, you know, just a little baking soda, vinegar. I'll put this in a little cup and just kind of clean that off. Just, just for my, my enjoyment. Hello. Sizzle up. Sizzle up. Mm. here. We're not turning this on anytime soon, so I'm not really worried about the water. I just want to get in there, neutralize any battery acid that's going on. Neutralizer! The board looks pretty clean. It's a good thing it was sitting like this because let me see if I can shoot the camera inside here because that's some scary stuff going on inside. Dun, 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 dun. Scary stuff inside of here. Gotta get cleaned out before we even attempt to do anything. Not to mention, what is the, what's the condition of the monitor? I don't know. Lower your camera. Lower, lower. How low does it go? All right, excuse me while I get this camera down here. There we go. Lovely. Ooh, that looks good. Tasty, makes you want to have a snack. All right, let me get some uh, gloves. I might I'm just gonna get in here and figure out what's going on now. Ew, ew. Somebody found a home in a defender cabinet. Let me get my vacuum. I'm gonna pick through first before I try to vacuum anything. But anyway, how's everybody doing? Enjoy the wonderful world. I got you. I'll occasionally look up at the chat. All right, power cord. Let's see. Well. Oh my God. That's not right. Mouse nest, yeah. That's not the power cord that should be on here. That's uh, definitely going to be fixed and replaced. All right. Ugh. There's a little bit of hantavirus going on in here, I think. Maybe I should have a mask. Do I even have a mask anymore? All right, I'm going to just kind of look over things here real quick. And I'm just going to set the vacuum on start sucking crap out. The monitor. The monitor is a GO7. At least I know that. It's a GO7. 
doesn't look bad, it looks clean. It also looks original. It looks like nobody's ever recapped it. Anything else loose in here? Loose, loose, no. All right, let's see if I can get this vacuumed and maybe find some sort of mask. Where would a mask be? I don't know where I put them. You know, so easily get a mask like a month ago and now I don't even know where masks are. All right. Ugh. 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 Yummy. All right. Where's my vacuum? Tasty on the inside. So we got like full on pecan shells, which makes me think maybe squirrels. This was up in the mountains, basically. Squirrels and mice and whatever. Ah. There was a spider. the initial. Now we're going to get really down in here because I need to look at these wires first. Power supply, get that all cleaned off. Uh, transformer over here. So I'm going to probably have to take this and slide it out. But we're getting into it. Crazy. Screwdrivers. I need a screwdriver. I need a screwdriver. All right, well, I don't think there's, at least I don't think anybody was actually like full on living in here as much as they were passing through. Because I don't see any bedding or anything like that. What is that? That's the power switch. That's the power switch. It's like they're having a little snack. Hey, let's go inside this game, have a little snack, and then uh, we'll go about our day. side so I can uh, get underneath it. Don't lose the screw. Gross. It's so gross inside of here.
a towel and wipe some of this down too. I'm gonna take that entire board out and then try to get to that thing. Ugh, ugh. Oh, we'll take some pictures before I forget what's going on in here. Okay. All right, I want to get back in there because I don't think I've gotten all that cleaned off. These guys. And then I also need to get a towel. Where's the... Uh, there it is. All right. Ugh. All right. So these you can switch, upgrade to a switching power supply, which is probably a good idea to do anyway. Entire mount off. So you can see underneath here. Anybody else ever get old arcade games or pinballs and find some really nasty stuff inside? Feel free to share. Ooh. Oh. It's got six screws, not four. It's like, why is it still stuck? Also going to look at the fuses, see if any of them are blown right now. It would be kind of an indicator of whether or not somebody tried to turn it on. Ooh, that stuck. That stuck pretty good. Oh, what's going on there? Hold on. this this guy right here it's got a wire bypassing the resistor and all that of course if you upgrade to the switching power supply you don't even need this so uh, I'm just gonna check to see if the voltage or the the uh, fuses are okay but then we're just gonna probably skip this and go right to a switching Import pin smells like smoke inside. One pin smells like old hay. Nothing too horrible. Yeah, I haven't had that big of a problem with pinball machines, but we've had a lot of video games that we got from one particular vendor that had them in his barn, and cats got all over it. So every time you have to clean off all this cat piss, which is not fun. See what this looks like after I spray it off with something here. Ugh. We're not going to use it. So, uh, don't anybody get after me for how I'm kind of cleaning this. Simple grease. 
screen. I probably need a hose. All right, I'm gonna go spray this off real quick. Give me a second. water over here but anyway it's a lot cleaner now I can check the uh, voltage or check the fuses see if they got continuity just to see if anybody's tried to turn it on and then I don't know if I have an upgrade kit for for a defender right now. Alright, well. All the fuses are good, even though it's gross. Alright, power supply, you just sit out here. Let's see. Four four seven zero one eight nine four nine one seven three nine four nine one seven four nine four seven zero. So none of these none of these serial numbers match. So that's a thing. <laughs> ba -da 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 all right, you are out of the way. You're out of the way. Monitor, I'm not going to get to that. Let's try to get this off. Transformers. More than lap a while. I can't consider this a barn find, but it might as well be a barn find. Because it was probably left in a barn. But I I did not pay barn find prices for it. Is that it? What, oh, here's there we go. Now redo the power cord, redo all this stuff, oh come on, I need a shorter one, me needs a shorter one, whew, defender of my life. Well, I am happy that I don't see any wires chewed up anywhere. So that's, that's a bonus. All right, let's, let's hope that's it. Ooh. It moves. It moves. Just uh, 
revealing all the crap that's back in here. Excuse me while I fix the camera. Excuse me while I fix the camera. There we go. Oops, sorry. Little critters may have been inside at some point. All right, see if I can get the vacuum back in there. I think something actually was living underneath the transformer. There's a little bit of bedding stuff under there. I'm gonna let go of this ground wire. Maybe I can get this to move more. Ground strap. This entire cord, I'm going to go all the way back here and redo that. Let's just lift this filter all the way off. Filter. clean. No time to even check. All right. Well, yeah, let me get uh, at least a wet towel. 
A wet towel will help tremendously. It's so nice. All right, buddy. I think I just want to take everything off of that board and maybe even just put a new board in it. But not right now. Let's just get as much as I can clean it off. I like that back corner. Trying to get it all. What is that? That's some sort of screw just hanging out down there. But don't know what it's for. One more. One more run of the snake. different thing to clean. Paper towels and some windows. 409. soak in there for a second. I'm not trying to hit the transformer itself, but all this other crap. With these wires. Gross. Gross. sure they didn't come from the factory looking like uh, a mouse took a dump on it. So I'm pretty sure we should probably just clean all this gunk off. Let some 409 get in there and make it less gross. All those wires look okay. Almost always the transformer should be all right. Let's get this back corner real good and I'll just put it back in. And uh, at least feel that the, uh, some of the haunted virus is gone. Whew. I am happy that the board doesn't look like it's gotten... Uh, messed up. At least so far. You never know. Uh, I need more towels. We'll look at the monitor. Oh, it's on wheels. Guy, you didn't want to be dirty like this, did you? Some kid in 1981 thought you were the coolest thing ever. 
And now here you are covered in who knows what and from where knows where. We'll bring you back. Hey, there's a fuse right there. That's good. All right. I'm going to a little bit more on this transformer, and then I'm going to just put it back in so it's just not hanging off of there. Eventually, what happens to these cocktail tables, at least here, start using those real tables. I have a Frogger cocktail as my kitchen table at home. Because one, we needed a place to store it, and two, why not have an arcade game as your kitchen table? We can get our, uh, we have a cocktail pinball machine. If we ever we can get that working, that'd make a great table too. All right. Well, at least for now, I feel better about it. Maybe. Still some stuff in there. Where's that flathead screwdriver? Ugh. Come here, flatty. Flathead. Yeah, flathead. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. bits that the vacuum didn't get. Slidey. All right. Put you back in here. At least feel better about it. Doesn't look so mousy. for a second. It looks good. Let me go test it. It is good. All right. So at least it's looking like it wasn't shut off because something blew up. Unless maybe the monitor's out, but we'll see. We'll, we'll check that out here, too. All right, so that's there for there. I'm going to try to put some of this back together so I'm not too overextended with stuff. Excuse me while I'm at the tone. Screwdriver, screwdriver, what you gonna do with the screwdriver? Uh, I need to get this and that and that, which means I probably need to slide this back out again. And get on the other side. Ugh. Excuse me while I get on the other side. Bastard. Go in here. Come here. Screw 
screwed up, man. So screwed. If anything, I can just compare this to our other Defender, which is not a cocktail, but you know, still works the same, just not so down on the ground. Back in. Come on, you know you're going in. Ah, ah, almost. Here, if you get that in place, shaky hands. Come on, I know you want to. There you go. There you go. That's a good little guy. I think the mega plus about this is that with the exception of the power supply, it's all laying uh, vertically. So less likely that anything was gonna get all messed up that way, other than the battery. All right. I don't want to get so much out. Trying to get it cleaned out. There is no uh, coin box. Actually, I think I have a coin box for that size. From something I just got, too. What did we just get? Oh, yeah, we got the uh, Moon Patrol. I think I got a coin box that will fit that. Come on. I know you're in the right spot. Just go. Let's do this, and then I'm going to kind of see what it takes to get the monitor up. Up and out. It might not, ooh, it's got cobwebs, I can tell that. Ah. Whatever, dude. Whatever. I'll just go in there. Jeez. Can shake much. It's a little less critterfied than it was. Uh -huh. A little less bit of critter, just a little more action. Why don't I just throw it? Okay. A little bit. Oh. Oh yes, this screwdriver is too big. Too big for the back. You know what? You're just not going to get in there. I'll just say screw it and just go with the two that are in there. I don't need four. I don't need four. Screw it. All right, that's there, that's there. This guy goes back here. Let me wipe it off a little bit better. Maybe. Who knows if it works? Probably does. Big ass beefy. Beefy.
Shah. Kind of thread that for a second. The other side. And then I'm probably going to order the stuff I the stuff I need to do this uh, power supply change. And I think uh, I have to do the chips too. There's like a, a memory chip thing to do on Williams. I don't know if I did it on Defender or not. If it was just maybe Stargate, Stargate and Joust and Robotron. Not quite sure if Defender needs it. We'll find out though. This part's just looking okay. Um, towels. This hasn't been really touched since it was uh, new. Um, maybe you don't have to worry too much about like these ribbon connectors and things like that. All right. I think that's where I'm going to set that for now. This board over here seems to be okay. Just a little dusty on its horizontal parts. Okay. I'm going to try to see what it takes to get the monitor to stand up or sit up and see what's going on there. While we got a little bit of time, excuse me while I get the camera back up to human height. Shaky cam 3000. Why not? Uh, all right. Let's get up here and see what's going on in monitor land it looks like I just have to unbolt it and then I can tip it up Let's see if it's got nuts on the bottom or if it's just right or do I take them out here oh I don't have to take that I can just take them from here all right got it let's do that Let's do that. So I'm going to need a flathead screwdriver. Let's see what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I'm going to just do a cursory uh, washing. Hey. It's got uh, T nuts at the bottom, so I can just take it off from here. Okay. Unbolt this bad boy. Take the ground wire out. So sit the screws through it. There we go. not seeing any well there's a little bit of burn not a lot so maybe we can uh, maybe the monitor we can we can save it that goes there this goes here My bolt. Drop my bolt. All right. Um, let me see if I have to unplug it first. Yeah, let's unplug it and take the connector off. There. All right. Oh. oh. Woo. Hi, 
little guy. What you doing? Well, it does not have, definitely has not been recapped ever. It is a G07. G07 FBO. F is for the 13 inch. I'm, I think CBO is the uh, uh, 19 inch. Original, everything. New, uh, new flybacks have a black anode cup. So that's all original. So all that has to be redone regardless of any other condition. It needs to be recapped. This neck is the dirtiest because it was sitting up. We should have, we have one fuse here. And does this one have another fuse? Yeah, there's another fuse up there. Go check to see if those are okay. And again, I'm probably just going to order a cap kit. And uh, just redo it. I think I already have uh, I already have flybacks. I got some spare flybacks. So we get a cap kit and get the filter. And usually where I get these the cap kits and stuff for monitors is uh, arcade uh, parts and repair dot com. They're pretty good. That one is giving me continuity, so that's good. Let's see if this is working or not. Continuity through there, so that's good. So I'm thinking that maybe it was not it was not shut off due to any monitor issues. Um I know in the kits in the past, I've, I've redone the uh, flyback, the voltage regulator, and the hot, hot back here. I'm usually doing a seat, the bigger 19 inch ones, not these little, not these little guys, but it's all still the same. And honestly, I haven't really done a monitor in a couple of years. Pinball has taken up my life. So I'm going to try to spray this off a little bit get it to start being a little bit cleaner. Where's something I need here? What do I want? What do I want? Let's just do with some uh, simple green. Simple green's not gonna hurt anything. Simple green. Use a box here just so I'm not getting all, all over everything. Get in there and probably brush that out and then yeah I'm not turning this on until it's recapped anyway so it's nice little projects on top of all of our other projects so I just wanted to get in here and just kind of see it see the condition of what I had to work with but we have a bunch of pinball projects ahead of this so for a while this is just gonna just be a tape what's going to happen. Let's get in here, wipe this stuff off. Condition-wise, it seems to be okay. Slide that back on there for now. Uh, 
set it back inside here. That's all I really wanted to look to see how what the condition of it. And it looks like it's going to be very savable. I know, I know. Oh. At some point, it'll be very savable when we get to it. Let me try to clean up the glass here real quick. See if I can see any more burn anywhere. Really the only screen burn that I can see is like right here at the top where that little radar is on Defender. But the rest of this seems really good. Obviously because it keeps moving. That part is the part that doesn't. So we're going to get a cap kit, power supply. Um, other than that, I don't think it's going to be too, too bad. Put these bolts kind of back in here. I don't have to screw them all the way down. I just don't want to lose them. One's there. Oh, yeah, I dropped that one. So, I, so what? what's it going to be before I can test it? It's going to be... Power cord, power supply, cap kit on the monitor. Um, so I'm thinking we're talking about at least 50, 50 bucks or so to get to that point, to get all that stuff. Because I don't think I have everything. I'd have some things, but I don't have everything. All right, let me slide this thing back up. We're going to leave the power supply out. Ooh, that cord got all... Not that we were going to use it anyway, but it's chewed all the way through. Well, there's your problem. No, that's not your problem. There's a lot more than that, but that is a major problem. We're going to completely replace that with a nice grounded plug. Set that here. Let's see if I can slide this back up. Oops. there this has got a release somewhere there it is somewhere on that side is a release come on there we go let's just do a cursory cursory little clean here real quick just to see where we're gonna be at with this thing Four and nine go. There it is. See how far we gotta go. See what cleans off and what doesn't. I already know this glass is kind of messed up, but that's I don't think that's that big a deal. We can repaint the back. It's maybe a little scratchy. Zoom in on that. Very nice and colorful, not sun faded. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of damage. Really stick looks good, buttons look good. That part's okay. Let's go up here and I'll swing it around and we'll look at the other side. Hi, buddy. Clean some of this off. Whew. Defender. In my head. In my head. All right, let's swing around and 
see what the other control panel looks like. I think this one might be a little worse, but maybe not once it gets a little cleaned off. Let's see what comes off here and what doesn't. Just got a little bit of paint on there. Actually, that's not bad either. Hold on. Just a little bit more. Looks like it's just got a. They got paint or something on top of it, but it's nowhere near as bad as I thought it was. you. Alright, and then lastly, let's just do a cursory look at the, uh, yeah, all that's going to clean up pretty good. There's just some paint on here that's got to be scraped off. Still going to clean up pretty freaking good. Let's look at the coin door lastly here. This is the one part that was open which probably let all the critters inside that part's okay this part's broken but that's okay I've got plenty of those that is not in the position it's supposed to be in pretty sure it locks from underneath so see if it'll close oh there's a light we're gonna get rid of that change out those lights Ah, there we go. Not too, too bad, I don't think. I think it's very savable. Very salvageable, very savable. Wouldn't take much to touch it up, clean it up. Make it run. Yeah, let me just get the... Let me just get those few things, the uh, power supply and the cap kit rebuild kit for the monitor and then uh may come back to this and check out what else we can do with it so i don't think that was bad at all uh it only cost us the money we made this weekend to buy it so that's not too bad i mean we didn't make a lot of money but still we we were able to buy it but we're going to save another little arcade game, but I'll get back to pinball machines later. Hi, camera. You're just right there. This week is a little weird because Brent is on a work trip, so I kind of have to be at the restaurant a lot. So there probably won't be any more streams this week. But at least wanted to get in this, show you this Defender cocktail, see where we're starting with, see where we're going. And uh, I don't know. Maybe we will uh, continue on with more arcade streams. It, That'd be a thing too. It's like if anybody's more interested in like video game repair, we could do a little bit more of that. I've just been really hyped about pinball repair, so I've been doing just mainly pinball stuff. But I can get back into the old grind of video game repair. But anyway, guys, I am going to go wait for my other truck. It's about to show up. I will see you all later. Enjoy other streams. Enjoy the rest of your day. Whatever it is you're doing. Thanks for hanging out, whoever was watching. Thanks for the support. We'll see you all next time. Peace out. Enjoy your day. Bye.